I'm a tutor with Aspire Sussex, an adult education charity based in West Sussex. Today I'm going to give you a short demonstration where I'll show you how to produce some simple flapjacks. I hope that you and your family will enjoy the results. Please do share pictures of your finished creations with us on our social media pages as we'd love to see the results. Right, let's get started. So what we'll need to do is pop the oven on at 180 degrees for a fan assisted oven. I've also got a greaseproof piece of paper that I've screwed up. To undo it, it fits in your baking tray more easily. Then I've got 150 grams of butter, 150 grams of light brown sugar, I'm going to put four tablespoons of honey, 300 grams of porridge oats, and 100 grams of frozen raspberries. So four tablespoons of honey into your saucepan. Then the butter, and the brown sugar. And then this will go on to the stove to heat through. So I've stirred the mixture on a medium heat continuously, and it ends up looking a nice fudgy brown color. Once it's all combined and smooth, and has slight bubbles coming from around the edges, it's time to put the porridge oats in. So turn the heat off. And combine the porridge oats into the mixture. Once it's all fully combined, soaked up, now pour this into your tray. You want to spread the mixture out into the tray using the back of the spoon, pressing it down nice and firmly into the tray. Pushing it down into the tray with the back of a metal spoon, nice and firm. And then pop your raspberries and push them down into the mixture. Any bits that are left, you can just sprinkle those over. And now it's ready for the oven. This is going to go in for approximately 25 to 30 minutes in the middle shelf. So these have just come out of the oven after 25 minutes. Pop it onto a cooling rack. And then before they've actually cooled, if you slice through, and they're still soft at the moment, it makes it much easier for cutting later on. So they should cut into around about 12 flapjacks. And then we're gonna leave these to totally cool. So now these are completely cooled. So I'm going to make sure that they're cut into their pieces. These can be kept in an airtight container if they last that long. You could also, to up the fruit level in the flapjack, you could also have things like cranberries, sultanas, different types of nuts. 
but if you're using that you just need to make sure that that's stirred through the mixture before you pop it into the tin. Lovely, right, I'm going to try a bit. Mmm, delicious. I hope that you've enjoyed this short course and that I've inspired you to continue your learning journey with us. Please check out the website for further details on online and classroom based workshops in your area. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you.